Okay, we're we're in the suga of of uh, giving a new suga actually tonight, uh, a new a new twist about again on rem- people remarried. We we saw yesterday that if a if a person goes ahead and married if a person is nursing, you should not marry that person, and if you do, oh, you have to leave. You have to leave. Okay, we'll get into that again. And but today we have an interesting discussion about the at which point in time is a child considered a viable child. So we're up to Mamid <clears throat> Vav, Mamid Beis, two, four, six, seven lines in the bottom, eight lines in the bottom. Amalei Rashi, the Rav Ishaya Braid Rav Edi says, Rashi to Rav Ishaya Braid Rav Edi. Pasam Tran. Over there we learned. Right? Over there, over there we learned. Or over, over there Tanya Abraisa. Rav Shimon Yolaima, Kol Shesha BeOdam Lamid Yoyim. Anything that goes ahead, Shesha, that it goes ahead and he. Lives for thirty days. Kolshes shah lamid yom. Anything that lives for thirty days ain't a nafo. It's not. It's con- not a nafo. It's considered a viable child. And for example, therefore, the mother would be pata from yibum and chalitza. She would be considered if she had a child. Now, this guy's is. If, if you know kololoy chedasha, if you know the child is fully formed, you don't have to wait thirty days. This is speaking where it's not known whether the child is fully formed uh, based upon time or or looking at the child. And therefore, what. In an afo, holy shah. But if you do not wait 30 days, the child is born and and it, it, it does not live for 30 days, then sveka have it's a suffolk. Then again, then it's a suffolk whether it's a viable child or not. Now, Gemara continues the itmar. We learned concerning that if the child dies 30 days, and the mother stood up, the Yavama stood up and received kedushin from another man. If the person she marries is Yisrael, go ahead and get and get chalitza from that person, and then you can go ahead and marry the person. Uh, then you can't do it because then she'll be a chalitza. So you have um, she shouldn't she shouldn't get married because she should wait I guess thirty days. Uh, Rashi says. Ben Hayavama, the son of the Yavama, dies within 30 days. Ben Iskatsha Lashuk, and she accepts Kedush and Lashuk, the Cheska Shepatur Misham Bena, that she be part of from the child. In other words, she's assuming that the child is what is a, is a viable child. But I could just as easily say the child is not a viable child. Again, it didn't last 30 days. If it didn't last 30 days, then she didn't have, then she falls to her Yavam, then she falls for Yavam. So now, if she did accept Kedushin, now it's a, it's a suffix, right? We don't know if he was a viable, not a viable, correct? It's a suffix. So what image is Yisrael? She says, "Im zesh the kid shay Yisrael who shem tachleitz min ayovim laach and kedushin leitosu abayla then chalatzes." However, im zeh kid shay kain who shem tachleitz tiosu lov. If you're going to go ahead and give chalitza, it's going to make him also to the husband as 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 chalutza. So as a chalitza, as a chalutza, ain't a chalatzes. The Samchin and Vlad will be slamming that the Vlad was a full fledged Vlad, and therefore the Kedushin is a good Kedushin. Okay, so again, the, the, the status of this child, the implication is whether the woman falls to Yibam or not. If the child is a viable child, she doesn't. If the child is not a viable child, she does. She accepts Kedushin, our suffix, she's accepting Kedushin. So, what you should do, what we always do, we do Chalitza as a way out. However, says Robert, in, in the case where what? Says Ravina in the name of Rava, says Ravina in the name of Rava, in a case where if you would give, you would go ahead and give Chalitza, it would go ahead and ruin the second marriage because the, the second marriage was to a Kohen. Then in that case, Rabbi will not give Chalitza. I will be slimmich that the Vlad was a full fledged Vlad and therefore she did not, she, she did not fall to Yibum and did not require the Chalitza. That's, that's the din of Rava. Now, that's Ravina's report of what Rava said. Rev Mashiach Mishmei the Rava. Rav Marshashia is saying an other din in the name of Rav. What is he saying? That Rav said, no, even if it's what, it's a Kayen, gave Chalitza, and she would have to leave the second husband. Okay, that, that's, of course, we'll say the child wasn't a viable child. So we have a machlokas between Ravina and Rav Mashia. Mishashia, exactly is what to Rav said. Good, says the Gemara. The Urta Amalei Ravina Mishashia said, Ravina to Mishashia, Amit Aleph, the Urta in the evening, Rav said that it's also to, uh, it's also not, it's, it's that both have to give chalitza, even the Kayin has to give chalitza, and that's what you heard, Rav Meshashia. 
you heard Rav's psak in the evening. You heard Rav's psak in the evening that what? That since that it's a kain, even a kain chalitza and ruin the marriage. However, ubit safra, and in the morning, hadabe, he had charata. And he said, even a kain, a kain no, only a, only a Yisrael, where it affect the marriage, do you give chalitza. But a kain, you won't give chalitza to. So, so, and I, I, Ravina, was there in the morning. You were there in the evening, I was there in the morning, and therefore we have confl- conflicting views, but I got the final view of what Rav said. Amalei said, Rav Meshashiyah, Shavisuha, Yerav, he matted it? Yerav, Shetishu, Aftarba, is he, does he want to go ahead and mat the Chelev also? The Eishazach is an Issacharis. Okay, that's his final say. Hacha, Gabi, now, why do we bring this in? We brought this in because a person married someone they weren't supposed to marry. He was supposed to go ahead and wait and see if this child was, was considered a, a, a yes or no. We had a Gemara yesterday where a woman is nursing a child within 24 months, and we said that what? That you have to, you can't marry her because again, what's going to happen if she gets pregnant, it's going to go ahead and, and moon the milk and the child will go ahead right in and, um, and die. We said, what happens if you do marry? We had two days, but in both days, one said, once you, you had to get divorced, whether you can take him back as a Shaila, right? May or not, yet, but in both cases, you got divorced. That's what we want to know over here. What happens over here? If she marries the Koyen, my, me of Rabban to cancel the Koyen alloy? Would they make it a to the Koyen to stay with his wife or not? No, it's will require him to leave as well. Because again, if they, if they get divorced, now it's Mamish, it's a, it's a Gerusha and a Koyen, what? So in that case, it was a Chalutza. And then the question is, regarding Gerusha, in other words, obviously, according to, uh, According to Meshashia in the first Lashim, we won't go ahead and make it the kind of, but according to Rava, the, uh, Ravina and Rava, we do we make it the kind of for the Koyen that he doesn't give Chalitza. Over here also, the guy did the wrong thing. What did he do? He went ahead and married a woman he shouldn't have married. Do we make it the kind and say they could stay together in order to uh, that they should get divorced and then that would end that marriage? Good. And over here, there's no error whatsoever. It's only the Rabbanat Gezeira because of what? Of the child. Because you listen to the Chachamim. So, um, Amale, so, uh, I think it, it was Rav Oshia Bar said Ravashi Oshia Bar Ravidi said to Ravashi, Hachi Hashta. He said, uh, how could you compare the two? Bishle Mahasam over there, I guess Ravashi is talking. Kivan the Ikar Rabbanon, the Polyglad of Shum Gamliel. In the case of 30 days, we have the Chachamim that argued of Shum Gamliel and said that what? That that it's a viable Vlad. Domar Afa Gabla Shtov, Vlad Malyahu, even though in the last 30 days is a good Vlad. Gabi Aisha's coin, Kivan the Yevsha. We have no option. Avdinon Karabonon. Within 30 days, it's a full fledged baby. It's a full fledged baby. She never felt the Yibum. So, therefore, to avoid the, the, the Koyan having to go ahead and leave, we'll, we'll let him go ahead. Aval Hacha over here by the nursing woman, Kiman Nevad. According to which opinion can we get this Koyan to let this Koyan stay with her? Ikareb Meya, Ha'ama Yaitsev, Layaksa, Alamis. Amir says, not only do you have to get divorced, you can never take right. her back. Hami beget. They said, still, you, you, get, you can take her back, but it has to be a get. Okay? So, Lechaira, I have no option to go ahead and save your marriage in this case, says Ravashi, that you had the Koyen would have to go ahead. Even, even if she married the Koyen, they would have to get divorced, and that would end that marriage. And that would end that marriage. Itmar. Kitcha betoich shlash. Okay, now, we have uh, the sugya with the sugya of <clears throat> discerning, hafchana. Whose child is it, right? Is it, the, is it the seventh month of the second husband or ninth month of the first husband, right? Seventh of the second or ninth month of the first. That's that's the Shiloh. That's the Shiloh. And, okay, that's always a Shiloh. Good. So now here's the case. Itmar. Kitsha betoch shleisha. She accepted Kedushin within the three months. Uborach and the one who was Mekadosh ran away. In other words, he clearly is making a statement. I'm not going to live with her to lie till... Till you can ascertain who, who who the father is without a shadow of a doubt. We have machloekis between Ravacha and Raphram. One says you put him in Chayrim for not listening to the Chachamim. The Chachamim said that what you don't marry somebody within three months, you did. You put him in Chayrim. The Chachamim said that what you don't marry somebody within three months, you did. You put him in Chayrim. The Chachamim said that what you don't marry somebody within three months, you did. You put him in Chayrim. The Chachamim said that what you don't marry somebody within three months, you did. You put him in Chayrim. The Chachamim said that what that he has no, no intention of living with the woman, and they could stay together. Havi was in this situation, and Raphram said, 
Yeruke Mestaya, it was a local Maisa situation. In fact, that what he 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 left and he said that what they you don't they didn't have to get good, he didn't have to divorce her, he can go back to her. He could stay together, even though he didn't listen to the Chachamim. He ran away, and you know for sure he's not going to have relations to produce another child. Therefore, there won't be a problem. Okay. Sofi ben Tishta Levisha and Sofi ben Why did we say? What did the Mishnah say? Why, why did the Mishnah say? We said regarding the child, the child is no, no Shiloh, The child is a good child, and what? And he's chayv and Hashem talu, and he has to get divorced. And it says Sofi ben Tishta Levisha and Sofi ben Tishta Achra and Yaitzi he gets divorced. Vlad Kasha. Okay, let's go. Let's go through the outside. Let's let's see what we just said. The status of the child. If the child is a product of the first husband, then what? Full fledged Jew. If it's the second husband, that means there was there was yibum, because it was the second husband, meaning there was no first husband. There was no child from the first husband. If there's no child from the first husband, you're falling to yibum. So in Man of Shach, there is no question about what? About the, about the, the status of the child. The, the child is totally, kosher, as we say in this year, squeaky clean. The child is squeaky clean. There's no question much more about the lineage of the child. Good. Yoitzi, you're going to get, you, you should have waited, you didn't. So therefore, you have to give a get. You have to give a get. And it's a possibility exists that you were boil an ashes ish, a ashes ach. In other words, if the child is the child of the first husband, then you, the brother-in-law, have an isra of Eishasach. And therefore, when you were with her, you were chayev karis. But since we're not sure, it's a suffix, the rule of thumb is anytime you have a suffix of karis, you bring an ashem taloi to protect you from what? From, from Yisurim. And if at a later time you ascertain exactly, uh, uh, let's say there was DNA testing and you found out that in fact that it's the, uh, the, the father, the first one is the father, then you'd have to bring a karma chatas. So Ashim told you is to protect you until, until further proof can be going ahead and, and ascertained down the line. Okay? So now, that's the din of the Mishnah. Now, Amalei Rav Rav Nachman. Leima Holach Acha Roiv Nashim. Why don't we say the following? In other words, guys, one of our rules that we've seen is that there's something called a suffix. When we have a suffix, and we, one of the ways of, Paskaning a suck is losing is, is, is roiv, going after the majority. Right? We had in, we had we had the idea of chazaka of keeping when you have a suffix, keeping in the status quo, its previous owner. Over here, our question at hand is the question at hand is one second, why do you even why do you even take for granted the possibility that it's the child of the second one and it's a seven month? Why don't we go after most women? Most women give birth after nine months. So using rov, we'd say it's the child of the first husband. Mm-hmm. So why is there a suffix even? Was, using rov, we could say there's no suffix. Says the Gemara, Let's say we go after the majority of women. Most women give birth after nine months. So let's say for sure that this child's right is a nine month, and therefore there's nothing to talk about. So Amalei said, so said uh, Rav Nachman to Rav, our women, the Shiva Yold, and they give birth what? If the seven. Amale, so said Rava back to Rav Nachman, your, your wives have a Ruba da Alma? Is your wives right of the world? In other words, great. You know, you have a, loca- <laughs> you have a location where, where, where people do things. We go after Rav. Rav is a way of, of ascertaining a, a, a suffix. So still, back, so back to the, the real question. Why do we entertain that the what? It's the child of the second husband. It's the child of the first husband. We go after Roiv. Amalei says, Rav Nachman, back to Rav, Hachi Kamin, this is what I said. Roiv Nashim Yoldan Letisha. It's true, most women, mo, not only most, but most, most women give birth after nine. Umi at Shiva. And a minority give seven. The Chola Yoldas Letisha. And anyone who goes ahead and gives birth nine, ubra nikolish shlish. After three months, you recognize what pregnancy. We learn from Tama. After six months, three months, you recognize pregnancy. Nikolish shlish emeha vizu. And this one hayav lehuka ubra lishlish emeha. Since the ubra was not recognizable to what three 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 third a third of the days, Israel aruba. It went ahead and it went ahead and it 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 it. it, it it hurt your roiv. It went ahead and detracted from your roiv. Says the Gemara. Okay, let's 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 guys. Let's go. 
It's in Gemara's Kasha. Build it up. We have a suffix over here, right? She marries within she marries within three months. So now we have a suffix. Is it a nine for first? Is it a seven for the latter? Now, anytime we have a suffix, let's look at Roy. If we did it, guys, you have a suffix, the butcher shop, right? If you find meat in the street, right? You go after row butcher shops. Good. So now, what do you have over here? Here's your Shiloh. Here's your Shiloh. Most of the women in the world give, it, give birth nine months, right? If you just anyone, how about the gestation, gestation cycle of a woman? You say it's nine months. So now, so, so, so said Rav Nach, said Rav, Rav, our women, said Rav Nachman, said I was moving on seven months. So, what do you, so it doesn't make a difference who you meet of, of those women. It doesn't, doesn't, doesn't affect us whatsoever. We only care about the right. So the problem is, guys, we have a, a weakening of the right. That's the word I was looking for. We have a weakening of the right over here. Why? If you, guy, if you recognize the fact, if you have a suffix that this is a nine-month-old, clearly the woman wasn't showing after three months. Because if she was, you wouldn't have a suffix. Good. The fact that Roy women, they go ahead and show after three, and three, three months, and this one didn't, that leads us to believe that what? That this woman is, is, is not a nine-month baby. Uh, and therefore, you don't go after right. That's what he said. That's, that's what he said. Therefore, you don't go after right. Says the Gemara, E kol, underline the word kol, E kol hayoledes letisha ubra nika l'shlishemecha ha midaloi hoka l'shishemecha ubra vaday bar shiva l'basra havi. So, ha midaloi hoka l'shishemecha now, so let's go in the other direction, guys. You have no roiv, right? You have no roiv, right? Why don't you have a roiv? Because she wasn't showing. Now, if you tell me, call, you said, you didn't say roiv woman. You said all woman. You said a, an unequivocal a, a statement. All women show after three months, right? And this one didn't. So why you even entertain the fact that it would be what? A child of the first husband, let's go the other way. And it's the child of the second husband. The bottom line is, it's not a suffix. In the first place, you said it's not a suffix vis-a-vis the second one. And now we're saying it's not a suffix vis-a-vis the first one. But it's not a suffix. Good. What's Peshat? Ella, Roiv Hayoled is the Tisha. Not a majority. Ella, Roiv Hayoled is the Tisha. Uber Nikola Shlisha Meha. Don't say Kol Hayoled is. Say Rova Yoledis, the majority that give birth in nine months show. Behind me, the lay hook of the Meha is really Ruba. And this one, what, where she didn't show it, 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 it hurt the right. And that's why it's a suffix, guys. That's why it's a suffix. So Roiv goes after right. It's all Roiv until you what, she doesn't show. It hurts the Roiv, and therefore we have a suffix. Turn up on it. Now, this child is born, right? Let's say the woman would ma- marry somebody else. This woman gets married to somebody else. Nothing happened. What? What? She didn't do anything to to the first husband, right? She now goes ahead. She gets married a second time, and now she has a second child. The first child is a suffix. What? The first child is a suffix. What? First child is a suffix. Whether it's the first husband or the second, right? Now we said this child, the man of shach, is great. The man of shach, the child's great, right? If it's the first husband's child, is fine. If it's the second child's uh, if second. Second husband's child, that means the first husband didn't have a child and Yibun was done. Right. Okay, now she, she has a second child. Clearly her child with, with, this, with the second husband. That's the halacha. In other words, it could be, it could be what? What? It could be. No, he's she's still living with the. If she's still living with this guy, when she married, she married this guy within three months. She's not supposed to marry him within three months. But she stayed with him. She stayed with him. She stayed with him, right? She stayed with. But it says Yoitzi, guys. It says Yoitzi. It says Yoitzi. You have to get divorced, right? You have to get divorced. So now, if if it was if the if the if it was the first child was her trial, then she's good. If the first child was her trial, then she's good. That means that what? That, that the Yibum was uh, right. But if the first child is not good, then she's living with who? With Aisha Zach. Right. That's a Chi of Karis. That child's a Mamza. But it's a Suffolk Mamza. No, no. This, the second child's a Suffolk Mamza. It's not a Vadai Mamza. It's a Suffolk Mamza. What's the Suffolk? Whether she's, she, whether, whether she's living with her brother-in-law or not. 
She didn't marry to someone in the street. She's still with her brother-in-law. Good. If the Yibam was Yibam, then the brother-in-law is permitted to her. If the Yibam is not permitted, then he's a brother-in-law. And that's called Aisha Saf, and that's called Karis. And then the child is a Mamza. Or if you knew that for sure. But over here, I don't know for sure. Could be yes, could be not. The first child is, is good. The second child, you got a problem. This is the Gemara. Fascinating Gemara. Tarabanan. Rishon royally as kind Gadol. That first child, <laughs> even though he's suffering, you know, the father, he could be a kind Gadol. <laughs> right? If the father was a kind, he could be a kind Gadol. We don't know who the father is, but. What? No, no. We say that a coin god lama or a mamsa tamil chacham is bigger than a coin god lama oris, but a coin god can't be a mamsa. No. Rishon royally as kind Gadol. A mamsa cannot be, uh, cannot be, there's a psul Gadol Mizeh. The Shani Mamza Misafik, and the second child will be a Mamza Misafik. Rabbi Eliezer ben Yaakov Einer, ain't Mamza Misafik. Now, what, what in the world did he just say? It's not a Mamza Misafik? That means what? That it is a Vaday Mamza? <laughs> what is what he saying? Is it a Vaday Mamza or not? What, 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 is, what, what exactly did Rabbi Eliezer ben Yaakov say? Now, bear in mind that Allah is always like Rabbi Eliezer ben Yaakov, right? Mishnah Rabbi Eliezer ben Yaakov Kav Vinaki. He doesn't appear too many times in Mishnayos, but when he does, it's why it's it's usually like him. It's going to play a role in the Gemara. My comma. What exactly did he say? So, guy, we have two opinions: the Tanakama, the Tanakama, and Rabbi Eliezer ben Yaakov. Am Rabbi Hachi Kama. Rishon Royal is Kain Gadol. The Sheni Suffik Mamzer. The Asad the Mamzeres. It's a Suffik Mamzer, and therefore it's Asad to be Mamzeres. In other words. Maybe on the tzad that it's what that he's a yid, he'll be also to marry what a mamza, mamzeres. If he's a mamza, he could marry. If he's a Jew, he can't. I shouldn't say they're both Jewish. If he's a kosher, a kosher yid, Rebbe Liazor ben Yaakov Oimer, ain't a suffik mamzer, el abadai mamzer, umut mamzeres. Okay, so according to Abaya, Rebbe Liazor ben Yaakov is saying we're going to give him the halacha of 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 a what a vadai mamzer, and he can marry mamzeres. That's Abaya. Rav is going to say the exact opposite. Rav Ama Hachi Kama. And the Shani, according to the Tanakama, is permitted, is a, is a Mamza Vadai, and therefore, commanding Mamzeres, good. So, guys, let's set it up. Let's just set it up. Guys, very important. Rav, Rav Abaya says, like Rav Yaakov, that this Suffolk will treat like a Vadai and his Mutter. And Rav says the opposite. We'll treat this vaday like a suffix, we'll treat it like a suffix, and therefore we will not be able to marry Mamzeris. Good. That's the shita of Abayim Rava, a machloikis in what Rebbe Yezim and Yaakov is saying. Machloikis what Rebbe Yezim and Yaakov is saying. Now we're introducing another pshat. And the, the Kamiflagi, and they're arguing, the Kamiflagi be the Rebbe Yezim Elaza. They're arguing in Rebbe Elaza. This is Rebbe Yezim and Shemur. The Tana, Rebbe Yezim and Shemur. Ditnan. Rebbe Lezim, this is in the last, last parak in, in Kedushin. Rebbe Lezim, I'm a vadoyin vadoyin muta. A vaday to a vaday canary. Vadoyin vadoyin is muta. Vadoyin besfekon. A vaday to a suffix. The suffix be vadoyin. Who sveikin besveikin asa. Okay? The elu hain sveikin. Who are sveikin? Shtuki. A shtuki is when a guy is walking in the street and, and, and he calls out daddy and the mother says, shh. Shosak, okay, uh, okay, one. The Asufi is that someone you took in from the street. Why was he, why was he in the street in the first place? Could be because he was a mamzer and they left him in the street. So that's the situation. Where it's a suffix mamzer. The Kuti and the Kuti, the Kuti did not believe in in Kesef. You learn from Kicha Kichim Yisday Efron. Somehow, because of that, they ended up with the suffix mamzeres. So all these fellas. No, no one that's a vadai can go ahead and marry this, these sveikis, right? And, but and no, no, and even a safik can marry a safik. Yeah. They're, they're gone. Only a vadai can marry a vadai, and the rest is out. <laughs> and now that now, so now, if I'm Rabbi Yehuda Marav, halacha Rebbe Laza. Rabbi Yehuda says in the name of Rav, the halacha is like like Rebbe like Rebbe Laza. That what that a safik can and a vadai can't marry together. So ki amisa kamei de Shmuel Amar, Amuli Hill says shana esra yuchs and alumi babo. There were 10 yuchsin that came up from Bavel. Kahane, Leviye, Yisraeli, Chaloli, Chalolim was 
is, is they married a, 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 from a Protestant, Ben Gerush, Ben Gerush, Ben Chalutza, Geiri, Mr. Geiri, Mr. Chalum, Mr. Nebuch, that's free, Ben Zeri, the Sini, where the Gevainim, Stuki, we just met, Fasuki, we just met, Ukulam, Mutarm, Lavi, Zebizet. All of these are able to go ahead and marry each other. Suffolk, Suffolk, these all can marry. So you you want to go ahead, Rav, and pass them like what? Like, like, uh, <clears throat> like Rebbe Laza, what are you going to do with what? With this, with uh, Hillel, who Hillel says that they could marry, right? But I, I'm going to look at Rebbe Laza. Oh, so guys, let's set it up. Let's set, let's, 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 let's set it up. We have, again, a bias saying Rebbe Laza and Yaakov, that, that what? That a, a Vada and a, 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 a Sofik and a Vada could marry. We have Rebbe saying a Sofik and a Vada can't marry in Rebbe and Yaakov. Now we have, we have a Machloikis, whether Rebbe Laza says you can't, Sofik can't marry. And, and Hillel says, you could. Rav is saying, I hold like Rebbe Laza, apparently. Uh, I call that Laza. And therefore, if you can't, Rob is going to come out like Rav. And Shmuel, who said, you like Hillel, obviously, will hold like Abaya. So in other words, we want to go ahead and say, at the end of the day, Rebbe, according to Abaya, Rebbe Laza ben Yaakov says he holds like Hillel. And according to, according to Rav, he holds like Rav. He holds like Rav. Okay, that's what we want to say. He holds like, who holds like Rebbe Laza? So now, and Abaya Sovalok is Shmuel. Abaya holds like Shmuel that a Vadai can marry a Sophic based on Hillel's Psak. The Amah Halacha Kehillel, as I just said, that Loch is like Hillel. Umuki Lor of Elizabeth Yaakov, Aliba de Hilchasa. And since the, um, the Hillel is that the Loch is like Hillel versus Rebbe Lezim and Shemua, he wants Rebbe Lezim and Yaakov to come out the right way. Because again, why do we introduce Rebbe Lezim and Yaakov? The Mishnah is Kavanaki. The Loch is like Rebbe Lezim and Yaakov. So therefore, he want, he'll set him up like what? That it must be that like a bio would hold that suffix in a suffix vade would work was like that that's like hillel suffix vade like hillel different others of yakov would come out hilchasa because again you have a problem if there's a yakov guys holds that you can't you have a problem uh, of course again the luck is like him then you can say luck like hill robber sub a luck around robber says like rob that a vade and a suffix are not permitted dama luck and kribble also holds a kribble also in other words, if depending whether you held like Rebbe Lazar, would it go ahead and influence how you're going to learn what, how you're going to touch Rebbe Lazar and Yaakov. Now, Amr Abaya, Menor Amin Allah, the Chol Sveik of Rebbe Lazar and Yaakov, Kivadei Mashvila. In other words, how do I know that he says a Suffolk would treat him like a Vadei? Abaya said the following. Abaya said, if you have a suffix and a vadai, a suffix and a vadai can marry, meaning I'm going to treat this suffix mamza like a vadai mamza. And therefore he can marry a mamza arrest. Yeah. Where do you see that? Where do you hold that? <clears throat> Where do you see that a suffix of a suffix is considered like a vadai? The following, the Tanya. Someone was, was involved with many women. Then you do al Azamihanba. And he didn't know who he was with, producing a lot of children. Right. Larry Johnson. The Khain he Shabo Allah Anashim Harbe. And she was with many men. Baini Yadas me Aza Mehan Kibla. She doesn't know who she got pregnant from. Nimsa. Nimsa. It could be that Av says Bidai, a father will marry his daughter. The Ah Nois is a chaisai. Or because again, since the yichus is all mumble jumble, you don't know. Mm-hmm. And the whole world will be filled with mamzerim. And the land is full of zima. Now, guys, in this case, is this vade a mamzer? You don't know if a father was with a daughter. You don't know if a brother was with a sister. But the possibility exists. Yet we're calling it filling the world with mamzerim. So you see, Rebbe Lezim and Yaakov says a suffix. A suffix zaina uh, mamza is what is considered like a vaday, and therefore um, he can marry a mamzeres. The rava. Now, what is rava who says that what that that Rebbe Lezbin Yaakov says no that is a suffix is a suffix and not a vaday. What does he do with this pasuk gemola or zima? Allah hachi kamar zu mahi. The word zima guys is a is a contraction of zu mahi. What is the yichus of this child? Meaning it's a suffix. It's not a vaday, it's a suffolk. And therefore, I have no source for a suffolk being called a vaday to allow this suffolk mamza to marry a mamza. Therefore, yes, Alkanum realized, even a bigger kid, guys. The case above, there was just Hefkeris, right? 
Here, listen to this case. A yes, a bigger chashash, I'm Rebbe Lezen Yaakov. La yisa odam isha ve medina zu, a person should not go ahead and marry a woman in one land. The yelech ve yisa isha ve medina acheres, and marry a woman in another land. Why? So he's married to two, two women. He produces offspring from both. Shemi is that big zel is there. Maybe uh, uh, you'll have a son and, 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 a, and a daughter of his end up with each other. The nimsa ach noises a chaisai, right? That a brother is going to marry a sister. So this is a bigger chiddish. Why? Because here you have nisuin. Here you have nisuin. Or there you have nisuin. India is really so that why a person should not marry woman in one place and, and marry woman in another place. For her rav ki ikla le le the dadashir. When when Rab came to that, uh, how do you say the dadashir? Okay, he came to dadashir. Machris he announced for Amar man havi liyuma. Who will be my wife for a day? Of nach mi ki ikla lechishin. So what do you see? You see, you see that, that lot that you could marry. Obviously, they came to another place and they said you could marry. So Shani Rabban ends up Kiyashmaya. Their name is like going to be known, and therefore you're not worried about the know the of this child. You don't have to worry about marriage of incest. This is a side question. How in the world would it be useful? Again, if he wants to protect himself because he's able to live with her, how would this again the purpose is to Stay squeaky clean in terms of your machshava. So, <clears throat> how in, is it possible that he can't live with this woman? Because for a woman, the Allah is when a woman gets engaged, the fact that she she was uh, uh, desired by another man, will, she has to sit seven days because maybe she saw blood in her desire. We had this morning, Yuma guys. So, Rabbanu says, they, they sent seven days before that they're coming to find their wife, to be murdered that they're coming. So, therefore, they have their heads up, and therefore they don't have to wait seven days. They, 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 they would not leave with them. They, they miyachid them. And since they know they would have a wife, it's, they can go ahead and deal with the yetsar a little better. But in fact, like they don't have to worry about seven days because why? Because because they're not going to live with them at all. You saw the mishtoi. A person should not get married to a woman. To the dust to the voice of Mishum Shnemar, it says, Al Takrish Arayachov, do not think of your friend Ra, who Yoshev Levetachitach, and what? And the woman thinks she's she's going to live in security, and in the end she's not. So, Lechaira, when I first went to Gemara, I saw that, that seems to be arguing on, the, on what Rav did and what, and what Rav Nachman did, right? They both seem to have done something that would not be in conjunction with Rabbi Leza Ben Yaakov. What? They go, they're going, they're going back home. They're not, every place, they're going back home. They're divorcing her. They're not, they're not collecting women. He says, who will be my wife for a day? It says, Avi. It says, a day. One day, Yuma. So uh, I saw the, the Masifta brought down from Elezim of Ravam and Ahar. He said, if, this is only if you don't inform them. In other words, if you don't inform them that you, that you plan to get divorced, then it's a problem. Of course, you, 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 it was false pretense. But if you told them initially, then it'll be okay. Why a woman would get into this situation, I don't know. Maybe the yichus of being married to such a special person. They had a word right here, right? Rob? Let's not go there. Now, guys, the next piece of Gemara is challenging. Okay, uh, but to introduce it, let, let's just let's just look at some pictures in the book. Okay, we're bringing that old book, page two hundred one. And the only place in town. Okay. Yeah, the top picture, right? You have what happened over here. You see the guys of Suffolk, you don't know who the father is. Either the guy, the Yavim's the father, or the guy who died is the father. Good? Did you get married too quickly? What? Yeah. Yeah, this is, this, this is, this is 9-7. This is 9-7. So now, they're going to divide the estate of the dead person, right? Here's his little money bag, right? He has two, two little money bags. So you don't know. It, it could be that what? It could be that he has no shakas to this whatsoever. 
and only only the brother does, the brother would inherit him. Or it could be the brother has no shaks with it because the son inherits him. So what do you do? You divide it up. As he does. Right? Okay, so now this even according to even according to this is the din in Sumchis. Sumchis Benji is, is is he's not cheating in places, he never cheats in places. So I know he never looks at places. So Benji's Benji's Mechab to Tysis, that Tysis says what? The Tysis says that Mamam, and he remembers the Gemara. Sumcha says, Mamam Amutl Basafik is Chalkin, but the Chacham say, Hamait Simichaver will love Levi Raya. Even the Chacham would be moidy here because we have no Muchsik. When you say Hamait Simichaver, it means you want to be most, you take away from your friend because he's holding on to something. Over here, there's no one holding on to anything. There's, the whole thing is a Suffolk. So yeah. there never was a Muchsik. So you hear the Chacham in very good bark. That, that, and I'm sorry I made fun of you. Actually, I feel like so I'm just making it. It's on tape. I want to make it. Anyway, so, so uh, okay. So that, that, that's the first one. The second case. That's happening over here. A suffix who's coming to go ahead and and he's not now they're both dead. In other words, Ruvain died and 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 uh, Shimon died. So now here's the Nidin. What's the Nidin over here? Is he the soul, the soul inheritor, or is he a son and inherits? It goes ahead right and you divide the spoils. So the suffix says, "I'm the only game in town, and everything's mine." And the brothers say, "You're our brother." Knows we came from the same father. You're our brother. We came from the same father, right? So, and so when Mesh, when Shia said, "So we thought that what well, you divide it." He no, he thought that they would get the whole thing, as we're going to see. He thought he's going to get the whole thing and end up it's going to be a division. Okay, let's see this case. Let's see inside. Keep the book open. Suffolk for Yavim, Shaboy Lachluk Benichse Misna. You have a Suffolk and the Yavim, a child that could be the child of the, of the dead person or a brother of the dead person. Shaboy Lachluk Benichse Misna. Suffolk Oimer Anobar Misnahu. I am his son. Vinichase Didi, who and it belongs to me. The Yavim Mama and the brother says, At Bari Didi, At, you're my son. My brother, you have nothing. You're my son, right? It's a moment that's it's a suffix. It's cholkin, and we said even according to the chamim that might be chaveri over here you'll be chayla. Suffix ubnei yavam shabai lachluk benisleim misa. Now, now the suffix in bnei yavam, not the yavam himself. The yavam's dead, so he, they're coming to divide in the nechasim of Ruvain. Ruvain dies, Shimon dies, and now Shimon has two sons. And they're coming to divide up Ruvain's estate. Suffolk Amar, Hahu Gavra, meaning himself, Bar Misnahu, is the son of the son of the dead person. And I, I get the whole thing. When the Chasi the Dihu, and the Chasim are mine. But the Yavim army, At Achenu, all of a sudden you're, you're our brother, right? At Achenu, you're our brother, right? Because you're the product of the second union. You're, you're Shimon's son. Umansahu de Islacha Bahadon. And you have, a, you have a portion with us. So Savra Bon and Kamei Rav Mashiach LeMeimar Masli Sani. It's a Mishnah, guys. And based upon this Mishnah, we want to say that he should get the whole thing. Guys, listen up. Guys, listen up. Guys, this listen up. I had trouble with Gemara this morning, but I, I got it together. Listen up. The the Gemara is that he's going to get the whole thing. In other words, his Taina, his Taina is a stronger Taina than theirs. Why? Because he Vade has a piece of the action. He's a Muchzik. He Vade has a piece of the action. If he's the son of the first husband, he has the whole thing. And if he's the son of the second one, right, he has a piece. Good. So therefore, that's going to be the half of the Gemara. Good. Okay. <coughs> Good. Says the Gemara. Uh, and where's the Mishnah? So Savra Abana Kameda Mashil and Mamma it's the Mishnah. Did Nan, the Mishnah says, okay, let's turn the page, guys. Page 202. <laughs> page 202. Here you got a suffix. You have two sons from one and two sons from the other, right? And now they don't both die. So Zicha, who's inheriting, who's holding on to it? The, the, the Vada sons are holding on to it, correct? Mm -hmm. And who has a Shiloh who gets it? Mm -hmm. Right? So now what the, who who inherits? What's the picture show? Who inherits? The two sons. Who doesn't inherit? Okay. Why do they inherit him not? Because they're Vada Muchzik. Guys, the, the sons of the of the one bro, one brother are his sons. The son of the other brother, the sons, right? They by they get. This this one's a suffix. So why does it show that the first the brother 
the brother had his own. This, he, okay. he wasn't Miyad. There's no Yibam here. Hello. Yeah. Hello. It's regular. There's no, there's no Yibam here. It's just clear cut. This is a Yesh Neichlin Dikadim. It's not a Yivamis Dikadim. You understand? Yeah. So the, you see the case. They're dying. I love the way he does it. Right? They're dying. They got two money bags by each one. They go down to the two sons. Now, in this case, who's Muxik? The Vadai sons. Yeah? yeah? And therefore, the Safi gets nothing, correct? So that we want to say that's analogous. The case that we, we have under discussion is analogous. Why? Why? Because he is Muxik, he's Muxik, and they're not. So we wanted to say, just like there, they get the whole thing and he gets nothing. Here it's the opposite. He gets the whole thing and they get nothing. Right? Because he's the Muxik. That, that's what the Gemara is going to say. So guys, let's see in the words. Says the Gemara. So they, they, they said the following, remember. Who ain't a Yerish Isam? He doesn't inherit them. They will inherit him. But, so therefore, they don't, he doesn't get anything because they're Muxik and he's not. Over here, when he is coming to divide with Shimon's sons, he has a piece of the action, either from Manusha, either from Ruvain, his father, his, his, his Suffolk father, or Shimon, his Suffolk father. Here's the opposite. The opposite is what? The opposite is that he's going to inherit. Hasam over there in, in Yeshnoich and Amri Lay, they say, I see Raya with Shakal. Bring a Raya that you're our brothers and you'll take each one. Will, in other words, the, 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 he's either one or the other, but each one pushes him off. Okay, bring us Raya, we'll give you. The other says, You bring us Raya, we'll give you. And you'll, you'll pay, you give him the foot back and forth. Hacha over here, Amaluhu, the, the suffix says to the brothers I, the, of, of the Shimon, I see Raya, bring a Raya that what? That that I, that you're my that I'm your brother and not and not your cousin with Shaklu and you'll take us. So just like there in the Mishnah, they were muxik, he got nothing. Over here, he's muxik and they get nothing. That's the, that's pshat. That's pshat. This, this is part of a psak. This is a psak. Okay. So Amalur Mashashia, me dummy. It's not comparable. Hasam inu vadai viu suffix. Guys, in the case of in Yesh Neuchlin, right? In the case of Yesh Neuchlin, right? On page two two o two. Those boys, Vada. Those boys, Vada, they Vada get a piece of the action. Their father died. They inherited their father. Both Vada are Muxakim. Mm -hmm. Okay. Over here, it's a default. In other words, he doesn't know he's Muxik, but he doesn't know who from from. He doesn't know he's Muxik from Ruvain or he's Muxik from Shimon. That's so therefore it's not comparable. Hacha Edi Edi Suffolk. Over here in both scenarios, he's a Suffolk, right? We don't know. Good, he's a muxik, but is it Mahmus the dead brother or Mahmus the live brother? We don't know. Ella, Ella, Idamya, if you want to compare it, Lemaslisan, Lahadamya. If you want to compare it to a Mishnah, here's the Mishnah. Lesaf, Lesafa Yavam, Shebo, okay, Bo Lak, Lak, Mishle Yavam, a Gufe. Okay, that's the case. Page 203. Okay. So he went ahead, the the Yav, he died. He inherited him. He inherited his brother, and then he died. And then he died. And now the Bnayavam Amri bring a raya that you're our brother and you'll take. That's the case of that's the case of Muxik, right? That's that, like, exactly right. He, he gets nothing. He gets nothing. Right, so, but the question is, he, he could be a real son. That's the Shaila. Is he a real son or not? Okay. The Hossam Amri, I see Raya da Chayna at Bishako. Okay, the next case, guys, page 204. Page 204. Okay, the words of the Gemara. Suffolk, you got a Suffolk, and the, the you know, the, the, so both are going to die. So the Suffolk and the sons of the Yavam, Shabo Lach, the Menich say Yavam. After the Yavam had already divided up. Now we began the we began this whole, whole sugya that they divide up. The Yavam Shimon, the brother of Ruvain, the uncle of the Suffolk or the father of the Suffolk, divide up. It's Chalkin, we don't know, right? So they divide up. Now, after they divide up, guys, next line, after after they, they divide, after they divide it up. So he, in he, he, so they divide it up, right? He and he has the Yavam, and now he dies, and now they're coming to divide it. 
So the, why does the, the why does the why does this, why does he taina? If I'm your brother, I should get from that estate. And then you want to taina what? You're not a brother. So then he says, well, I'm not your brother. Then, <laughs> then what you, my father, what your father got that you, then is given to you is not yours. Your father got something from my. You're telling me that I'm not your brother, right? So I can inherit with you. Good. So if I'm not your brother. What am I? I'm the son of the first guy. So no, then I inherited everything. You got nothing. Yes, yeah, so that's the, it's a Gishmaka case. It's a Gishmaka case. Well, let's see inside. So Suffolk of Neyavam, Shabo Lachlok Minister Yavam, you got a Suffolk Mayavam that come to divide up, and then Chasm of the Yavam, the boss of the Paga Yavam, Minichse Misna. After the Yavam and him had divided up in the Chasm of, of the dead person. And you have a mommy, I see Raya da Khaina at the shuckle, bring a Raya, you'll get a piece. Amalu Suffolk, man of Shaifu. One second. If I'm your brother, hopefully, Mansa da Daiku, then I get a piece of the action right now from Shimon, Dad, Daddy. The E bar Misna Anna, and if I'm the son of Ruvain, hopefully, he palga the palga of Uchemadoi. Give me from your father, hopefully, that your father inherited from my father. Come dinner, we keep the dinner, it remains the same, right? And 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 you're not gonna go, you're not gonna go ahead and, and make it that you know his time is a time and, and redo it. And review me on the din. You're gonna go ahead and, and oververt the din. Let's say this like is over here between Rav Abba, who says come dina in the name of Rav, and Ravyemi who says that Hadadina is the of Admin. Guy has a field, he goes overseas, his field is, is surrounded by all four of the fields, he comes back, he doesn't have a way to get into the field. That's the case. Good. So that's Gemara and Kasubis. Says the Gemara. He shall the Chumdina say, Guy goes overseas. But of the way, Derech Sadehu comes back, can't get to his field. He doesn't know where the, the path to get through it. Admin Amar, Yelech Piktsara, go along by the short path, right? The shortest way. In other words, this guy, Bada, has got a piece of the action. He, his field was there. You don't know which is. Now, the half of Mina is that it's surrounded by a field that was four fields owned by one person. So Vadai, this person's being muxik in what? One path, because they're all owned by individual. In other words, if, if there's four fields, one, two, three, four, and it's owned by the same person, he can't say, go to this one, to this one. No, it's, all, it's owned by one person. It's owned by one person. You can't be mad him, push him off to the other person. So he can't say, so Amalach, sorry. Come on, no, you can't like Derek, the mayor, money, buy, buy, even it costs you a lot of money, or you for or or fly. Vadbina, now Vadbina, but Rabban. And Rabban say that spend your money or fly. Shapikama Admin. Khar Admin saying a good thing. He had before he went away, he was able to get to the field. What happened? So Bam Rav Yudam Rav Hachamaya Skinon Kigoin Shikifu Arba Bene Odom Me Abba Ruchais. He surrounded what? By four people on four sides. So what what it was what what does each one tell him? Go to the next one. What does each one tell him? Go to the next one. He hachi my time in the admin. Ah, if that's the case, why does Admin say Dirk Sarah? Bamarava, the Abba the Asamikayah Arba. Four people that came from one, bought from one individual. The arba, the osmi koyachad. The arba, the osmi koyach arba. The arba, the osmi koyachad. Kuli amale pligi. The matzi matchale. Ki pligi bechad the osmi koyach arba. Right. That one came from four. Admin sava matzi amale mikomakim darchi gab darchi gabach. My darchs by you. But when a savvy damale shaskis, if you're quiet shaskis, the loy mahatu shtar l'marayu. I'll go ahead and return the shtar. Loy matzi l'shtuli dina by dayu. Okay, we'll do go over this up tomorrow, get a little more clarity. Thank you.